absolutely amazing. If you're just joining us, this is today with John and Helen on Plus TV Africa. And what interests us today is to take you way back, you know, to where you started from. And it's all about culture, our beginning, our continued way of existence. And it's so dynamic and it's so diverse. And the um, prof here has been, you know, revealing some very, there's a word I don't want to use, you know, but very beautiful things to us about the culture. You know, you're giving birth to, and you move from one year, one day, you know, to the other. And some of these things are saliently, you know, being deposited inside of you. And you are acting in ways that you really can't say why you are. But Prof here is able to, you know, tell us exactly how your culture forms who you eventually um, become. So, thank you once again for joining us on the program. We're going into the next segment and um, you have more to shun out for us. And ah, of course, John, yes. you have the first question. Yes, I do. Prof, before I go to my next question, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you rounded off the other, the last segment with, yeah. you know, modes of greetings. Mm. I have a few Igbo friends uh, in my club, Rotary, and there's this joke between us, you know, that I'm not an Igbo chief. I'm not an Igbo chief. Okay. Mm. So the greeting... Yeah. I can't, they don't give me, that they don't give me the three, yeah? And, and they won't okay. give me the three. They, they don't so give me three. Don't yeah, so when I meet them, yeah. I go one, two, and, and then one remaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is, uh, and, even that one, they get, uh, and they take it, it that seriously. That one just to him you not to. As much that. as we joke about it, yes. they take it, they take Very it uh, yes. so seriously. Yes. Anyway, Prof, thank you. Welcome to the yes. second segment. Yeah. Now, we're still digging into culture. And uh, Mazi, you are, you are an associate prof. prof. Mm. He says he associates, I'm, I'm only associates, he associates with prof. <laughs> but you permit us to just, maybe in quotes, yes. refer to you as prof. Because you're on well, your way. I, because I belong somewhere, <laughs> I, I belong somewhere so that I, I don't go there to receive query. Anyway, so, <laughs> so prof is here with us. And uh, I will say that uh, to a large extent, we've ignited the interest of our viewers. Sure. You know, just like we have been incensed by what you've been saying. And uh, our discussion on evolution of culture has been most interesting. But tell us now, Mazi, what are the obvious characteristics of a people's culture? The obvious characteristics obvious. of a people's culture. Like, these are the ingredients that will be present before we can say this is their culture. Um. There is no, uh, there's no one thing, one, one, one thing you can stay in point. My sister said it earlier when she said, you are born into a community. And that community, from the day you were born, you are welcomed. The moment uh, 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 um, an relation is sounded, like in my community, here, 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 oh wait, every woman, whatever she is doing, we drop it and run to, towards the direction. And then every man, whatever he is doing, we move there and the children will be at home. And they'll gather. What have they gathered to do? To receive the, mm -hmm. uh, the addition into the family and by extension in the into the society. Now, from there, you will see, you will hear starting songs that will remember uh, these oral poems are trifurcated. They are either for um, admonition mm -hmm. or for praise or for satire. Wow. Right. Now, in a situation like this, you will now sing those praise songs that you use to praise, your, uh, praise God, praise uh, the ancestors, ancestors, those who are the founding fathers of the community, and of course to praise the woman who was able to Deliver really? a child, uh, to be delivered a child safely without uh, uh, having a steel bath. Now, from there, the child, the child and the mother move into uh, a seclusion called Omugo. Mm. Mm. Then a period where the woman is allowed to get uh, uh, regain her strength. Stress. People will serve her. She will not. Uh, she will, uh, people will serve her. She will not be the one to serve herself. Say three, four, five weeks or thereabout, and then the child will now have the opportunity of being 
properly nursed. Not today that uh, the child will, uh, uh, you give birth to a child, and then the next day the mother is uh, on the way to work. No. So, no. We, sorry, you've looked at language mm -hmm. yes. and you've looked at behavior, okay, yes. mm -hmm. right? Okay. And music and... Mm -hmm. Well, music are put under language, mm -hmm. yes? It's a, it's a part of language. Yes. Yeah. Or, in fact, the foremost culture, like I said, is language because it is language you use to explain, Plain. to express mm -hmm. your, your fear, your anxiety, your joy, your anger, everything you use language to explain. What about the, food? Uh, the food I said earlier for the Igbo noun, chineke, jineide, zondibo. God used yam and cocoa yam to feed the Igbo. So the, form, but the moment you hear what a Yoruba will call enyo, you call uh, otaraji, pounded yam, the Igbo man will get up. Then uh, you talk of uh, egusi, onubu, uh, those ingredients that are, must be there in the soup, then the Igbo man is there. Then you talk of uh, the Yoruba, you talk of amala, ewedu, mm -hmm. and the... Uh, <laughs> uh, enyo to an extent, okay. Now you talk of the house, you talk of uh, uh, Tuwo and the, yeah, uh, of course their drink is Brukutu. That of the Igbo is Maya and then of course uh, for the Yoruba you have Oti and so on. So wow. these ones are there. <laughs> then you come to um, a human behavior, yes. You talk of um, a child, Remember, Yoruba will have a song that says, if I'm right, then if you look down on your mother, who did this for you, who, who labored for you, your father who labored for you, then you are placing a curse on yourself, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Mm. So in Abel, the, when the child is still uh, sucking, that lullaby, Ezio mume, Ezio mume, Ezio mume, he raise your mume di kuwe gi ezula ohi ezula ohi gi abala mora abala mora gi huwane gi na nyanke kachasi he raise your mume di kuwe. This is a word of training. Say that you should put on good behavior, mm. acceptable behavior, moral behavior as a clothes. You do not steal, and they mm. emphasize, do not steal. You do not be a false witness, they emphasize. So it, it's witness. a lesson. So these are lessons, and then they say that in all you yeah. do, because as you put it in clothes, as a cloth, where you move, how you go, what, it, what you do, what you say, that uh, good behavior is seen in you. So it is internalized, you inculcate it, and then uh, a child nurtured this way will surely mature as a reasonable adult. There's no two words about it. Interesting. Mazi <laughs> is so traditional, and culture is so vital to you as it should be to everybody else. Now, beyond the well-known Western and traditional cultures, um, Mazi, are we likely to find cultures that are peculiar to individuals or smaller units, are we likely to find them beyond the general um, understanding of culture and the features of culture? Then, uh, in that case, you are now talking of uh, secluded. Uh, yes. Uh, mm. uh, you have societies, mm. you have clubs. Like, for example, many years ago, we, we were told that somewhere in the Plato, there are still people living on top of the hills who My, uh, do um, not even wear any apparel uh, as of, of now. The Koma people. Uh, they, have I seen any of, the, any of them uh, uh, coming here uh, naked? I've not seen any of them coming here naked. And uh, uh, it doesn't mean that the Koma people are asked not to leave their community. I don't want to believe uh, most of those uh, things. Mm. There could be uh, what they are uh, like a uh, uh, room with a, um, a preparation a child, uh, when a, if a, a, a woman is due to get married, the first thing they do is um, to send her into a fattening room. That place, she will be expected to learn. She will enter there as a child and they come Some out others. as a mature lady ready for marriage. Mm. And as she comes out, she must go through the market to uh, walk around to expose herself. Then, when you see her uh, bare ba chest, Mm. And then uh, uh, bah, uh, this thing, they with a little, co co uh, well, maybe jigida, mm. uh, what they call uh, mm. uh, beads, mm. covering the waist. 
and then today, a small piece of paper, I mean, a piece of cloth covering the uh, breast, then you say that uh, the Igbo are still going, uh, or their ladies are still going naked. naked. No, I don't want to believe that. You, know, you, may, you may have seen them observing a particular culture, remembering their past, and then you think that that, that is the yeah. way they live. Uh, who is, uh, is that place not in Nigeria? Who is their, who is their counselor? Who is their representative? Do they, do they go to National Assembly? Do they go to court and naked? I don't, I don't want to believe that, mm. my dear brother. Mm. There is a limit to what I cannot uh, believe. Yes, okay. thank you. Now, um, uh, Mazi, a thought just struck me yes. you know, while you were talking. You know, I, I looked at the word cult and culture. And I realized that when we have cults, they have codes within themselves. Mm -hmm. does, the, does, does the word cult or does the practice of cult, does it strengthen our understanding of culture? Yes. Cult is not a bad thing. It is from cult you have your culture. From cult you have your agriculture. You're from, uh, ah. Of course. Uh, culti you cultivate from cults. Uh -huh. So, uh, actually, it is a way of doing things. Things. That's a cult. Good. Uh, whether religious Culture. or societal <laughs> or, right? So, you don't uh, see it as, it is when, uh, it is now the way they go about that practicing that you may say is good or bad, mm. right? But on, uh, initially, it is, uh, it is, um, pattern towards good societal mm. well-being. Because that uh, members of that particular cult must conform to With their the practices. So if they don't, the mem other members, because you willingly uh, make yourself a, 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 a member, yes. therefore you have to abide or you'll be kicked out, uh, you'll be shown the way out. But in a society where you are born into, there is no way you must not conform so oh. the norms and the most you must. If you don't, then the next thing is they excommunicate you. If they, uh, sorry, they ostracize you or excommunicate you. That's it. Then uh, by the time you come into, uh, uh, you come out in the world, uh, nobody greets you. You greet everybody. Nobody greets you back. Then uh, you go to, you go to market to buy something with your money. Nobody sells to you. Okay. Uh, then, then you have something. Nobody comes to buy. Then you will know that the world of an individual is based in the womb and in the tomb and not in this human uh, uh, world. Oh okay. my God! Okay. Okay. Right now, at this point in time. I am thinking of the killing of the twins. Yes. I am thinking of um, uh, human, female, uh, human female, female genital, genital mutilation. Yeah, I'm thinking of human sacrifices Good. at the point where, you know, a monarch or somebody passes. Now, because all along you've talked about culture as glorious, beautiful. Yes. Are there, you know, other sides to culture? I have to explain that. I'm very happy. When you tell a child, when you tell a, a lady to go to uh, as to, uh, to, uh, to a housemate where she likes to be married, she will go with all her heart. This you have come to where I am interested in. One, um, twins. Yeah. Beautiful. In ancient time, let me talk of the Igbo, we had uh, no tolerance for uh, twins. Something cropped up, something caused that. Now, the Igbo believe that uh, there must be a root. Mm -hmm. You must come through, you must have a father. Yeah. There is the ancestral offer. It is the person who, they will ask you, who is your father? And you, it is only the uh, child, a bona fide child, born into that, uh, well, uh, whether I'm right or not, uh, a bona fide child, born into that family that must hold that offer. Therefore, the idea is that animals come into the world as two in twos, threes, and fours. Mm -hmm. Only the cow does okay. not have, has only one child at a threat, and then human being. Now, the ancient idea, don't tell me it's wrong or right. The ancient idea was that for a fowl to uh, for an animal to uh, give birth to more than one child, it must have. Uh, uh, be mated by um, uh, more, more than, than one. one female. Okay. Right. Therefore, the idea was that for a woman to give birth to two twins, then she must have 
deviated from the norm. She must mm. have uh, committed uh, more than one man. Beautiful. And then you, you do not know which is the one for the family and which is the one that is not for the <laughs> family. Wow. Then how do you tolerate that? Okay. Wow. You okay. see that now? Okay. Good. Uh, now, over time, you talk of uh, people giving birth to 10, 20, and uh, 500 mm. or of them. You remember that uh, the, fa the fertility, yeah. uh, the fertility food you eat, the fertility mm -hmm. drug mm -hmm. you take, and mm -hmm. all the rest of mm -hmm. them must be responsible for, for that, those yes. ones. Yes. Now, but remember, like I said, culture is not static. Over time, that culture has been considered to be obsolete. Sure. So they have discarded it. Okay. Even people now celebrate twins. Mm -hmm. among the Igbo. So, so that is the dynamic nature of uh, culture. So okay. Uh, okay, the, 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 good. There are two other things they ask. Okay, yeah, go very, ahead. Very quickly, because um, they're telling us our time is okay, Our time, there. okay. Yeah. Then the other one is a human sacrifice. Definitely all world cultures, all world communities at the ancient time, at the primordial era of their life, uh, uh, practiced a human sacrifice. Uh, we are today talking of uh, Jesus Christ. Is it true? Mm -hmm. Good. We are told that uh, uh, he was sacrificed for our sins, isn't it? Yes. So uh, human, uh, when the need arises, there used to be that uh, human sacrifice. It's no more. But to, today, even those who do, who do it to enter heroes and others, they now do it covert and not overt. Okay. okay? Now, you talked of um, female, female genital. Please, the people should be understood. That idea of female genit uh, genital, uh, they call it, uh, we call it circumcision. That circumcision is not harmful. The way it was done, the way it is conceived, the way it is designed, the way it is done. I cannot point at any Igbo woman who couldn't give birth to a child because she was circumcised or what. It is a thing. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm a vulgar, but then I'm, 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 because I'm online. That thing that they talk about, you say that without the remission of blood, I mean, without the shedding of blood, there will be no remission of sin. That thing is a tie. The, child, the male, the male uh, penile rod is uh, scraped and the blood drops. Okay. That, uh, uh, clitoris, the uh, that clitoris is scraped, not caught for God's sake. It's scraped for that blood to touch because it is what binds the person with uh, uh, the, uh, the ancestors and then the living. And please, uh, uh, the, way, the way it is being carried out, I do not subscribe to it. Okay. Thank you. So Marcy, this, it, is, this, is a, this is a topic <coughs> on its own. I'm telling you, <laughs> and we haven't even gone to the Osu aspect of it. Well, because, uh, you know, because uh, if time I have the time, I was, almost, I was, I was saying, gone. because this, my, this is my area. You know. ah. But it's pleasing. It's, it's, it's it exciting is. to know that um, yeah. a lot of these so-called bad cultural practices are being, you know, they are fading off. Yes. But before we round off, yes. maybe in one minute, uh, Mazi, does it then mean that culture today is flexible, is becoming dynamic? Yeah. It's flexible because uh, you have laws that you didn't have that time. Yes. You have... Uh, uh, infiltration of uh, Western law, Western education, and the rest of them. So they have uh, impact, influence on the uh, traditional one. Those who accept the Western culture will definitely stick to it. And then, even uh, to the uh, genital, uh, genital mutilation you're talking yes. about, now they use the finger to uh, press it uh, in as uh, a way. But people, Deep down, we still use razor. Smaller uh, distance. There, there's a lot <laughs> more about that. So you, we can't go into that today at all. There's so much, you know, to talk about if you're going to the circumcision aspect. Uh, but we don't have that time now. Okay. But we have been so schooled. Yes. On culture. Yes. And so finally, Magzi, is there any way that culture helps an environment to develop? Is there development and culture? side by side? The moment you uh, keep the culture, you abide by it, you will have a healthy uh, relationship. And when you have a healthy relationship, there will be peace. And when there is peace, then you'll be free to think. There'll be security. Then you'll be able to think. You'll be able to develop yourself. You will carry out with your trades 
and you uh, uh, work uh, with uh, unhindered, you will have an enabling environment to develop yourself. So culture so has failed us to some extent. Of course. Because um, there's a no, lot no, no, of confusion. More than one now. Not, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of confusion around, around here around now. Here. And so it means that culture somehow, 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 you know, hasn't helped a lot. Thank you so much, Prof. God bless you. Thank Pro you, Magzi. <laughs> we don't want you going back to the university <laughs> and getting the query, but you are in the process of becoming well, a prof. Well, uh, I'm only an associate professor. I'm not a professor, so let me, very, very let, let me uh, explain myself. Mm. Mazi, my thank brother. you very much. Thank, thank you so much no. for coming. Thank you, thank yes. you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mazi was um, talking to us a while ago, and he didn't know that I'm Benway, I'm Idoma, by the way. And you said something about us. I was just like, okay, uh, I don't know. I was, about I was waiting for you. I knew you were prompting me, but yes. I just kept. So I can now call you Ene. I just kept going, Amada, Amada and Ene, and Ongma, whichever you want. So you are Ada, okay. and Ene. Ene is yes. a mother, right? Yes. Ene. Mm. Uh -huh. Ada mm. is a first daughter, right? Yes. Good. And there's so much that comes with it culturally. You know, okay. All right, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Mazi. My, my very good friend, uh, uh, Innocent Alicheno, is from the Dome. Alicheno, Alicheno, you okay. just okay. called it like an, an Englishman, uh -huh. no, not an, like an Igbo man, because an Igbo man must pronounce every single sound. Oh. No, 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 no letter is silent it's in Igbo. Okay. Um, no, okay. no, no, no name, no one is uh, changes is a. Uh, Mm. Like you have uh, the Englishman will tell you C is a Silent. C, and then no C. Okay, okay. Then you say C A N. It Before can. It Mazi can. takes us to the classroom, <laughs> thank you, yes. thank Class you so much. What is the lecturer? So after the break, yeah. <laughs> yes. We'll yes, go on yes. a break now, and ah, after so the break, Ferro Owutomo mm. continues with the culture series with her guests, and they will take a look at the impact of culture. Stay with us. <laughs> 